<laughs> right, I don't recommend going this way. So here we are, Gledow Valley. And today my guest will be Gwyneth, 2020 GPX champion. And she sits, she's sat on a wall around this corner. So she's gonna pop, in, pop over in a minute. Where is she? Oh, you're not sitting on the wall anymore. I'm not sitting on the wall. You're not sitting on the wall. <laughs> so this is Gwyneth, my guest today. And we're gonna take you around Gledow Valley. And we're gonna start here. And I haven't started my Garmin yet. Yeah. Have you? No. No. All right, I'm gonna. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Go. Oh. So we start on this very defined path. <laughs> it's a very so this is a very narrow path, and it does get very busy. It does get very busy um, at weekends, at certain times. It's 9 a.m. on a Sunday right now. And it doesn't seem too bad, but if you get a really busy time, um, there's going to be a lot of stopping, a lot of moving out of the way for uh, members of the public, like here. Thanks. Thank you. So choose your time wisely. So if you're looking at the map, the course kind of starts in the middle and then heads west towards Moortown. And what we're going to be doing is following this path all the way around towards Moortown until we see a turnaround point. They've also done the path, redone the path recently. So it's a nice new path. So the main instruction here really is just, just keep on the path follow it round. It sort of heads in a slightly northern direction at a corner and leaves the main road. Very uncomplicated. <laughs> but some of you are still going to get lost, aren't you? So we're approaching the flag up here, which signifies a left turn. And the word puke and a penis. <laughs> but I always, I always look at the flag. I didn't see the penis. A, yeah, there you go. So there's the flag. Turn left at the flag. I think that's back to front. That's a back to front Irish flag. I don't think it's a penis. I think it's a mushroom with two small. Of course, it's a mushroom. It's a mushroom with two baby mushrooms next to it. So that we're back, back on the road again, past this little house. But you can, little house, yeah, little uh, little box. So you can see the path we've come on opposite us and we're just running next to the road next to the road and it will eventually filter in through a meadow hitting the fields and there's a bush in the middle of the field and right in front of us is this little path which I'm going to take you down when it's going to lead the way Can you remember? It's not where the, that. Where the is. <laughs> There's a crossing there. Well, That's one of your choices. But here's the uh, here's the other crossing. There we go, straight over, yeah. straight over the stream. And we turn right, and we're back at the road, and we head back the way we came to finish the first of the two loops. As you can see the bluebells, bluebells are out right now. April, no it's May, it's May, May 21. Coming up to a road crossing. This is where we started. Be very careful please. I mean run them at your own risk, obviously I'm not to blame, but I'm telling you what to do. And then here we go legal stuff out the way, we carry on on this lower lower path where all the bluebells are right now. It's bloody gorgeous. It's bloody lovely. 
And I wouldn't use the bluebells as a landmark because they're probably only going to be here for about two weeks. As is that gorgeous dog. <laughs> By the way, we've seen a few other paths like uh, steps, paths and steps, but we ignore them. We're on the main path. Nothing said straight ahead. And uh, stay on the main path. Watch out for the swallows. There's a couple of nice things. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I just saw a little rat. Oh, God. Yeah. Can you really see a rat? Yeah, just right past these people here. We, uh, yeah, we, we, we finished coming around the lake, so we're going to follow the path that goes around the lake. Follow the path around the lake. Glad how lake. It is a lake. There's another rat. <laughs> a nice, a nice clean brown rat. Yeah. And we're heading towards the road because we're about to cross the road. Use your loaf. Okay. Take it. Take it from here, Gwyneth. Not the first, but the second path. So you hit a path. There's a path directly going up. That's the obvious path. There's a path to the right and a second path to the right. And it's a steep one. Take the steep one. You know Great Owl running by now. Steep path. In fact, that other path would have got you there too. And there's a rope swing. You see a rope swing left up to the top of the hill. Nodwell's out of breath. <laughs> the common tree And then a sharp left at the top of the hill. <laughs> Project 65 is underway. I'm still about 70k, 70 kilograms. Woo! Um, so once we reach this tree, we head back down. So there is a little path there, but that's a dead end. So we're going to head slalom around these trees, back down. And then this is and the main main path. And this is the main main path. And we turn right to the house. And that's when our south of the, south of the river adventure ends, as we're going to go back north of the road. So we're back at the road again. There's a car. For us, that's nice. We're going to cross the road and head straight over. There's a straight ahead of us, there is a wooden bridge. In fact, there's two wooden bridges, so I'll show you. That's the main path, and this is this is the off piste version. In front of the well. Is that child going to attack us? Hopefully not. Okay, good. <laughs> if you could get him down for us, that'd be great. Okay, I'll, boot, I'll boot him down when we get to the top. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to head straight back up again. There's a path there, but we're going to go straight back up. You know me by now. Straight up. So we're at the top. We're at the top and this path is a little less trodden, but it's still very visible. It's pretty much the topmost path now. I lived in uh, Chapel Town last year and this was my, thanks. This was my, um, it's my local run. I do miss it. My, one of my favourite bits. It's one of my favourite bits here. If the camera's rolling, yep. Hopefully that we won't see anyone, because if you do see someone here, they're in trouble. Along this narrow path, up the top. Nice eagle eye view of lake. Yep, lovely view. Um, some metal brackets here, iron brackets, to watch out for these. Can you hear, I hope you can hear the birds. And we're straight through the middle here. I mean, the, tra the track is quite indistinct, so we can roughly keep to this track. If, in fact, it goes around the trees. Watch out for the roots, bloody roots. Another split in the road here, but main path again. Main path. The path most trodden. 
another split which is the main path use your eyes to measure that's wider that's narrower we take the wider one another split take the wider one you get the idea sneaky shortcut here there is a sneaky shortcut should we take the sneaky shortcut yeah, let's do it sneaky shortcut here <laughs> Straight over there is a corner that you got to go around, but you could take a shortcut because if I didn't make the shortcuts legal, yeah. I'd have a lot of admin to do. <laughs> so all the shortcuts are legal, but when we design the courses, we design the courses to be as short as possible and uncheatable. So we're nearly done. Oh, and there's a fly in my eye. We're nearly done. Remember, you can start and finish wherever you like on the course, but remember, you must finish where, where you started. started here we go we're down the steps you can wangle round or you can head straight down if you want back to the road Woo! back to the road to finish there we go so we're done so keep an eye on keep a mental note of where you actually started the spot where you started and stop your watch there that's enough for this one we'll see you very soon Bye-bye. <sighs> Did you wave?